Hey everyone, uh, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, just the disregard for the truth from so many of these BTC maximalists. Like they just plain don't care about the truth and they want to just win and we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll do whatever it takes, whether it's lying, cheating, or stealing uh, to get what we want. And in this case, I want to talk about just plain lying or just plain misrepresenting the truth. And this one, and there's dozens of examples. Maybe I'll make some more videos on some of these things going on. But uh, Trace Mayer, like, wow, you should be ashamed of yourself for this sort of tweet. Like you've been around long enough in the Bitcoin space where you know what the truth is. But uh, I guess, first of all, I'll, I'll start, you know, Trace, one thing you did do right, like you're saying, hey, let's have a proof of keys. And everybody proves that like the cryptocurrency is there that's supposed to be there. That's great. But then he's using this sort of trolling thing, talking about, you know, proof of Roger and proof of keys. And what he's implying here with this video, for anybody that doesn't know and that wasn't around in, I don't know when this was, 2014 maybe, um, Mt. Gox was having delays for fiat withdrawals, right? Nobody was able to get their fiat out of Mt. Gox in a timely manner. Nobody was having a problem with their Bitcoin withdrawals. There was only Bitcoin at that point. There wasn't uh, anything other than like Bitcoin basically and, and, and dollars and yen and that sort of thing. So Mt. Gox showed me the letters from their bank showing that like the bank was limiting them to a million dollars a day and 10 wire transfers a day for sending the money out. So very, very clearly the problem that Mt. Gox was having was in regards to uh, the fiat stuff. So I made this video, it's 50 seconds long. Here's, uh, here's what I said, and you could hear it again, so. I'm Roger Veer, longtime Bitcoin advocate and investor. Today I'm at the Mt. Gox World Headquarters in Tokyo, Japan. I had a nice chat with Mt. Gox CEO, Mark Karpelis, about their current situation. He showed me multiple bank statements, as well as letters from banks and lawyers. I'm sure that all the current withdrawal problems at Mt. Gox are being caused by the traditional banking system, not because of a lack of liquidity at Mt. Gox. So all the withdrawal problems, we're talking about fiat. We're not talking about Bitcoin. We're talking about fiat. We're talking about dollars and yen. Nothing to do with Bitcoin. This video is about fiat. The traditional banking partners that Mt. Gox needs to work with are not able to keep up with the demands of the growing Bitcoin economy. The dozens of people that make up the Mt. Gox team are hard at work establishing additional banking partners that eventually will make dealing with Mt. Gox easier for all their customers around the world. For now, I hope everyone will continue working on Bitcoin projects that will help make the world a better place. So there you have it. I made a video about fiat, about dollars. And here's Trace trolling, claiming it's about cryptocurrency. There's no, there's no private keys for your dollars in Mt. Gox, right? So like, Trace, what's up? You know, I've known you since 2011. Why are you lying on Twitter or at the very, very least like misrepresenting the truth? Like you should be ashamed of yourself, but it's not just you. There's so many of these BTC supporters that love to just ignore the truth. And like we're seeing that in regards to the Bitcoin white paper and that Bitcoin was never meant to be used for payments. Of course it was. It's right there in the very title of the white paper. It's a peer to peer electronic cash system. And so we're seeing this happen over and over and over again. And it's just really disappointing to see like the this lies and deceit and propaganda going on online. And all I can say is, I guess, you know, George Orwell would be uh, proud of the demonstration that you guys are giving of the, the double speak that's going on. And, and to all the people that are saying, oh, Roger Veer said Mt. Gox was awful. I never said that. I wrote every single word I uh, read in the script. I wrote it myself. The word, so the, word solvent, the word solvent does not appear even once in there because I didn't say it. I had no idea if they were solvents or not. I'm only talking about the dollars and the yen coming out of Mt. Gox. And so Trace, shame on you for like, twisting the facts to try and suit your agenda. Uh, really, really disgusting to see that and uh, seeing it more and more and more from uh, the BTC camp. I feel like uh, you guys are just, to make broad sweeping generalizations, uh, many of you guys are willing to like ignore the truth uh, to suit your agenda. And that's really a, a shame and uh, really disappointing to see you, somebody who I thought was a, a friend at one point, twisting the truth and using a video that's talking about fiat to imply that uh, imply that uh, I'm somehow related to the private keys of, uh, of Mt. Gox, which it wasn't. So uh, shame on you, Trace. Disappointed to see that. Uh, I'll make some more videos like this as time permits. Thank you, guys. See you next time.